hi welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs today's video I'm going to show you how to fix one of my old sewing machines so I've got loads of sewing machines some electronic some mechanical and the electronic ones I won't touch I'll get a professional to service those for me but this one here is a really old machine it's an old favorite probably about 25 years old I guess I'm not really sure um, I picked it up second hand. Actually, I got it for nothing a long time ago, so I don't want to spend anything on it to fix it. So it's actually got timing issues. It's not picking up stitches at all. And I'm going to have a look and show you how to fix the timing issues on this particular machine. It's a Janome My Style. I think it's a My Style Janome 16. Anyway, so it's a fairly old machine. So stick around and I'll show you how we get the timing adjusted on this. So I've set the machine to the zigzag stitch and reduced my stitch length to around about 1.5 which is just in here and the stitch width I've just made that the widest stitch available. So what my aim is here is to check and see which um, stitches are picking up or even if it is a timing issue. So what I want to do here is have the needle come down on the right hand side come up and then come back down on the left hand side and I'm hoping it will able be able to pick up some stitches so you can see here that the stitches on the right hand side of the zigzag haven't been picked up it's actually stitching on the left hand side quite fine but the zigzag on the right hasn't worked at all so this is a timing issue for me and I'm going to open up the machine and we'll have a look further. So I'm going to take the stitch plate off. Um, I've undone this screw here. Each machine will be different with the amount of screws or, or anything that's on there. Uh, take the slide plate off and I'll take the stitch plate off. And take the bobbin case out. What we want to do now is have a look and see what's going on with the needle. Now you can see the sewing machine needle here is on the right hand side so it's going to try and pick up the stitch on the right hand side of the zigzag and if you have a look down here you can actually see where the needle is starting to come down. So the needle is starting to come down across this channel here and the lowest point of the needle is just here. As this hook comes around, it needs to come and be just at the top of the eye of the needle, but you can see that the eye of the needle is still really down low, so it's not going to pick up the stitch there. And if we come back up, move over to the left hand side of the zigzag, and watch where the needle comes down into the channel again, so down into the channel and the lowest point of the needle is quite a bit before um, where it was on the right hand side so when we were pick, trying to pick up the stitch on the right hand side the eye of the needle was around about here so it's probably about a quarter of an inch away from where it is here so when the needle comes up and the hook comes around you can see that the eye of the needle or the needle is starting to come up in line with the hook Okay, and this is what we want to have on the right hand side, which isn't happening. So go back to the right hand side and you can see that the lowest point of the needle is almost where the plastic section uh, ends. And the needle is quite a, a way bit down, quite a bit down from previously. So I'm going to turn the machine off and turn it over and we'll have a look at it from the underneath. So on this particular machine I've only had to undo a couple of screws. Uh, each machine underneath is going to vary. So this one here, I'll just take this plate out. And I might just remind you, you should always have your machine turned off when you're doing any kind of servicing or repairs to your machine. Even when I took the plate off earlier with the bobbin case, take your, um, turn your power off. I've only left the light on so that you can actually see what's going on. Um, and I sometimes like to remove the needle as well, just so that I don't accidentally stitch my finger. Anyway, what we've got here is this bar here that goes along 
the length of the machine and it actually does go right up inside the machine. There's a little grub screw here or a little set screw here and I think there's two of them. Yep, there's two. So I need to undo this and just move, turn this around just a little bit, just a really small amount and see if I can adjust the timing just there. Okay, so I'm just going to use an Allen key to loosen these two screws. And you can see once I've loosened that, you can see that there's a little bit of wobble in here. And I'm just going to turn this a little bit one way. And so to do that, what I've done is I've actually held on to my hand wheel, the, the wheel that actually turns my needle up and down. So I've just held on to that and hold this taut so that I can actually move this wheel up just a fraction. So you can see that I've only just moved this very slightly. I'm going to tighten the screw back up again because I don't want this to move on me while I'm testing it out. And we'll put the plate back on. This is how confident I am that it's going to work. And we'll flip it over and give it a go. Okay, so I've put the stitch plate back on and the slide plate, put all the screws and everything back in place and turned the machine on. I'm ready to give it a go. And I'm just going to turn it, the hand wheel to begin with just in case I've turned it the wrong way, the, the little screw up the wheel underneath. So I don't want to um, hit, have the needle hitting any of that uh, plastic, that little wheel that was underneath. So I just want to make sure nothing's hitting there and I'm right to actually start sewing. And oh my goodness. This machine is awesome again. <laughs> so I'm pretty pleased with that. I didn't have to make much of an adjustment. There we go, it's running beautifully. Perfect stitches on both sides. There's no skip stitches, no issues whatsoever now. This is awesome. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Um, it's quite successful, this little repair, and it didn't take much time at all. It was just undoing a couple of little set screws and moving the wheel just a fraction and going from this, what was it supposed to be a zigzag, to a beautiful stitch here on both sides. I'm pretty impressed with it. So this machine lives to see another day. I was actually going to scrap it and um, take, it, take it all apart and then put some of the good bits on eBay. The motor will sell, the foot controller will sell, 
bits and pieces um, but now I don't have to it'll live and make another couple of thousand shopping bags if you've enjoyed this video let me know put a comment down below and if there's anything else you'd like me to do um, just put that down in the comments as well and I'll see how I go catch you next time